I'm Matthias Schnuderl. I'm a molecular pathologist and neuropathologist at NYU Langone Health. I run precision diagnostics for the NYU healthcare system. The power of genomics is not only in discovering new drugs, but it's actually to better define diseases based on objective genomic criteria. And what DNA means to me is that we do proactive genomics. We know ahead of a time what's happening in a human genome, and we can tailor prevention, therapy, intervention ahead of a time. My name is Erica Allred. I am a pediatric nephrology fellow with the University of California, San Diego, and Rady Children's Hospital. We've already kind of revolutionized medicine with the expansion of this testing, that rapid whole genome sequencing is uncovering diseases that we never knew existed, and that genetic disease is not as rare as we once thought it was. And so it's important that, you know, we kind of bridge the gap between research and clinical implementation. I think genomics is not only allowing us to diagnose diseases that we couldn't diagnose before. People used to suffer in silence with these diseases that we couldn't even name. And now genomics is naming them. But not only is it naming them, it's allowing us to, you know, look forward to the future. I'm Stacey Gabriel. I'm the Chief Genomics Officer of the Broad Institute of Harvard and MIT. What we want to try to do is to harness our understanding of the genome. It's really about, I think, risk prediction, it's about prognosis, and it's ultimately then about how do we develop better therapies for disease. DNA Day is an exciting day. We can celebrate and remember some of the really huge past moments and sort of describing, you know, the, the structure of DNA to, to publishing um, the, the sequence of our human genome. My name is Olivier Elemento. I'm a professor of Wacorner Medicine, and I'm the director of the Institute for Precision Medicine. So sequencing is very important. Uh, this is what allows us to understand how um, different people are and what makes every individual unique. And those differences uh, tell us something about how to treat patients in a very individualized way. DNA Day is a celebration of the fact that it's uh, really important to know about your genes. Uh, and that it can help uh, lots of individuals. I think we're gonna see more and more of these utilization of uh, DNA modification as a way to help patients. I think that's really exciting. My name is Dr. Janina Jeff. I am a staff bioinformatics scientist. I use the information that we get from sequencing and genotyping um, that inform things that we use for human health. I think genetics is such a close, intimate thing that everyone can understand because we all have a sense of um, our connection to other people. And so I think when we think about our identity, we think about how we identify in this world and we think about our communities, that genetics really ties us all together, right? It tells us that, yeah, there are so many differences, most of them social, that we've created to divide us. But genetics really unites us. It really brings us back into one human race. Mm -hmm.